the triumphal entry. But if we go back to Genesis, and we kind of start at the beginning, and we think about Genesis. Well, Genesis, Adam and Eve, Satan. Satan comes in, tells Adam and Eve, God doesn't really like you, doesn't really love you. He's holding out on you. You can't trust God. You need to come up with a better way. By the way, I have a better way. If you'll do this and do this, then you'll get this and you'll get this, and then it'll put God in its place. And this is coming from a person who God's already put in his place. And he's still got another place for him that he's going to get to go pretty soon. And I'm really looking forward to that part. But at any rate, we've already talked about how Adam blames Eve and <coughs> Eve blames the serpent. And then what happens is, Adam, okay, here's your punishment, Adam. Your, your work is going to increase, but your productivity is going to decrease. That's part of your, that's part of your punishment. Woman, you're going to have, um, you're going to have, your, your, your childbearing is going to become more painful, uh, and your desire to be over your husband is going to increase. But guess what? That goes against my will, so it's not going to be, you're not going to be the wonderful women's lib thing that you think it's going to be. It's actually going to make your life mi- more miserable than I ever, 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 ever and meant for it to be. And, oh, and by the way, serpent. Okay, the heel of this woman, you're going to bruise, but it's going to crush your head. All right, so now let's fast forward. And, and I want to go ahead and say a lot of this, some of this came from um, some stuff that I heard over the weekend. Sorry, I'm not claiming it as my own. I'm just excited about it, so I'm going to share about it. Um, now we, we jump ahead to when some of the demonic, the, the angels that get thrown out with Satan, there was a time they came and they visited the earth, and they took... The sons, they took the daughters of God and they, they, they mated with them and they produced a race of giants. Goliath was one of those that was left. And what does Goliath do? But he comes up one day and what does he do to the, to the name of the Lord? He blasphemes against the name of the Lord. And Saul and all his armies are sitting there going, he's awfully big. Anybody want to go fight him? I don't want to. Uh, no, I would go fight him, but, you know, I hurt my shoulder. And I, no, so nobody, nobody's going to do it. And little shepherd boy David walks up, who is so in fire, on fire, in love with God, and wants to defend him so much, that he walks up and he goes, look, that guy just blasphemed the Lord. And the, the, and the law says, when you blaspheme the Lord, you are stoned. And so he goes and he picks up five stones and he walks out and he says, you may come at me with your sword, but I'm coming at you in the power in the name of the Lord. And he runs towards him. Most of us don't run towards something that's four times our size. He runs towards him. He slings that stone. He hits him right in the head. He knocks him out. He knocks down. Now, I know the Bible says that he killed him, but if you read on further, it also says then he takes Goliath's sword, which is huge, and he kills Goliath with his own sword. So the first time it says kill, but it really means knocked out. He falls face forward, and David seizes the moment, and he pulls out Goliath's big old sword, which, by the way, was his grandfather, who was one of the first giants, and he cuts his head off. What does he do with the head? Have you ever noticed? He picks the head up, and he takes it to Jerusalem. It's in the Bible. He takes it to Jerusalem and he buries it somewhere. Now, I don't know where exactly he buries it, but I don't think it's, I don't think it's a coincidence that in Jerusalem there is a hill called Golgotha. That church tradition says that's where the head of Goliath was buried. Does it, does it surprise anybody that that could be the very spot that the cross that Jesus crushes the head of Satan with, that's the very part where the cross is laid. So yeah, I guess we can call this the triumphal entry because this is the beginning of Satan's end. This is the absolute beginning of Satan's end. And I'm really, uh, I'm looking forward to the end of Satan's end, um, and that can come any time now. So if we, if we go through all that, it, it, it get, it, hopefully it gets you a little excited, because guess what? None of this is, none of what you went through this week caught God off guard. God, 
Didn't you see that was going to happen? Didn't you know I was going to have that problem? Didn't you know that person was going to do that? Is there anybody else who's, um, this morning, uh, there were how, how many churches, Amy, that were, were bombed? Two different churches in Egypt were bombed this morning as they were getting ready for their Palm Sunday service. And God, we, we pray right now for those families. In the name of Jesus, we thank you that you are there with them and that you are bringing them peace and you're bringing them comfort and that those people who died are with you now in glory. And Father, for those who are still struggling and still suffering, Father, we just pray that your peace would, would just overflow them right now and that you would bring safety to the rest of them. This, this, thing, this thing that happens, we, we think, you know, we lose our salvation when somebody cuts us off in traffic, okay? You know? Think about what Jesus Christ did for us. So this is where I want to jump to a little bit different thing. Um, Jesus. This triumphal entry isn't the first time we've seen Jesus. And it's not the last time we're going to see Jesus. Because Jesus is getting ready to make a re-entry. Now, I like to watch uh, science stuff. I don't understand it, but I like to watch science stuff. Um, and I, I, I boil it down to science for dummies. That's kind of what I do, okay? So like the sonic boom, here's, here's the simple explanation for the sonic boom. The stuff in front of the plane can't get out of the way fast enough. Boom! That's, that's it, okay? Um, which, that's basically... Yeah, yeah, okay, thank you. Okay, I've got a pilot agreeing with me, so I'm good with that. So, um, and then uh, the whole uh, re-entering the atmosphere. It is not an easy thing to get in and out of the atmosphere of the Earth. If you didn't know that, <laughs> just, you know, ask, ask an astronaut. There's a new movie out right now. Has anybody seen Hidden Figures? I want to I wanna go see it. Is it good? I want to go see it. I, I hear it's good. It's, it's about how they mathematically, the women who, the black women who figured out the mathematics uh, to, to be able to figure out how to, how to get through, uh, you know, the, the Earth's atmosphere and all that. But I do know this. You have to have these things called heat shields. The heat shields are designed to burn so that you don't burn. And you have to hit the atmosphere at an angle. And there's, there's all this stuff, okay? It's really, really difficult. If we didn't have gravity and we could float, we still wouldn't make it through the air's atmosphere because we, would, we, we just wouldn't have enough momentum built up. Guess who can pass through the Earth's atmosphere like it's nothing? The one who created the Earth's atmosphere. For him, there's no, there's no need for a heat shield. There's no need for, for, for speed or anything because he is might. He is all-powerful, and, and he can just come and go as he wants to go. So when he gets ready to come again, it's going to be really powerful. Now, okay, is it going to be at the end of the tribulation? Is it going to be at the beginning of the tribulation? Is it going to be in the middle of the tribulation? We'll, we'll, we'll continue that process as we work through Revelation. But there's a difference between his rapturing the church and his second coming. For some people, though, that is one event, and that's when it's at the end, okay? For some, it's there's that time where he comes, and the dead in Christ are raised, the live in Christ are raised, we meet him in the air, and we go and we be with him, and then we come back with him at the end of the tribulation to, to, uh, to rule and reign the earth. Uh, and, you know, this, we're taking a couple of days off of Revelation, so... Uh, and by the way, uh, Zale, thank you for clearing up all of my... Uh, no, he did a great job teaching last week, and I really appreciated that. Um, so here's, here's where I'm going with this. <laughs> but trust me, I actually do have uh, somewhere I'm going with this. In Matthew chapter 24... It says, but immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light and the stars will fall from the sky and the powers of the heaven will be shaken. And then the sign of the son of man will appear in the sky and then all the tribes of the earth will mourn. They will see the son of man coming in the clouds of the sky with power and great glory. And he will send forth his angels with a great trumpet and they will gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of the sky to the other. So this is the total package, um, Jesus' return. 
Um, and, and again, some people say this is re- the rapture and the return all at once. But when this happens, game is over. For those people who are like, you know, um, uh, I, I've studied the Bible a little bit, and I know that when Jesus comes, there's going to be all, there's going to be trumpets, and there's going to be this, and there's going to be that. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to be observant. I'm not going to follow Jesus. I'm just going to kind of, kind of keep my, I'm going to keep my ear open because when that stuff happens, then I'll run over real quick and I'll go, okay, God, pr- please forgive me. You have to say, yeah, I believe in you now, and you have to take me on. But what we don't understand is when that thing happens, it is going to happen with such force and with such speed and with such finality that those who are here who have not claimed the name of Jesus, it's too late. It's too late. Now, I'm, 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 I'm trusting and praying and hoping that every person here, it, it, you, you know that. And you have, there's, there's been a point in your life where you have, you have asked Jesus to be the Lord and Savior of your life. And you're not just kind of hanging on hoping, well, you know, I'm just going to, I'll get the memo right before and then I'll, 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 I'll upgrade to the Christian class and then and it'll all be good. But whether you believe that the rapture happens before the tribulation, or will you believe the rapture and, the, and, the, and, the, and all that stuff happens at the same time? When it happens, there's no more time to make a choice to follow the Lord. The choice is already, the, 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 the choice is done. There is no time for making another choice. Um, Matthew, that, that's the last verse, I'm sorry. Uh, and he will send forth his angels with a great trumpet, and they will gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of the sky. Then look over in 1 Corinthians 15, 51 through 57. Behold, I tell you a mystery. We will not all sleep, but we will all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet, for the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised imperishable, and we will be changed. For this this perishable um, must put on the imperishable, and this mortal must put on the immortality. But when this perishable will have put on imperishable, and the mortal will have put on immortality, then we will come out uh, about the saying that is written, death is swallowed in victory. O death, where is your victory? O death, where is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Um, Sally and I, the pastor who married us, uh, Big Lloyd, Brother Lloyd, he, uh, anytime he would say this scripture, uh, we shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed, he said that was the scripture he believed that should be in every nursery because he thought that was kind of, think about that. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be, okay, good. Uh, yeah, yeah, some, it'll, it'll trickle through. Some of y'all get, about lunchtime, you'll be going, oh, we all shall be changed. Okay, now there, it'll, it'll happen. So if you're like me and you believe the rapture of the church is, is before the tribulation, e- either, either way, there, there's a finality to it. And we have friends and neighbors and loved ones who they're, they're walking under this misconception that, oh, I can, there's time for that. There's, oh, I can always, oh, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just. It happens like lightning flash. It happens in the twinkling of an eye. Guess who else? It, it, it not only happens so fast that non-Christians can respond, guess who else can't respond to the second coming of the Lord? Satan. Satan is going to stand there and go, Boy, I didn't know that was going to happen. It's going to catch it. Because if he could slow it down, if he could stop it, he would try, right? But he's not going to be able to. It's, 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 there's just, it's amazing when we stop and think about what he's going to do. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I, I wanted to show you this picture that I found. I just thought it was cool that I could save a picture that would actually do that once I got it on PowerPoint. Um, I, I, I heard this, and then I looked it up. How many of you all know exactly why lightning does what it does? Oh, okay, figures you guys would know. Okay. The negative, um, okay, this is, Jill, hang on with me. This is, just, this is good technical stuff here. The negative cloud-to-ground lightning flash can be broken down into three stages. 
the stepped leader, the return stroke, and the dart leader. The step leader 